it's about to uh, get into the game, hopefully. Um, Uh, we're just holding in now. Um, gonna try and tab out and quickly spread a little bit of the uh, love, uh, telling people I'm online. Okay, I'm going to change the name to that, DMU Chickens. And I appreciate that name because chickens are a universal part of uh, Cisco. <coughs> Apologies for the cough. I've had a bit of a cough today. Um, not that. Uh, let's just take this. This is some cool Overwatch stuff happening. Uh, right, so who am I looking for? Sorry, I'm going to share it on. Not quite wanted. Promote. today. Uh, anyway, so I should post it probably here. Now I'm going to tap back in. Just some warm up um, for the NUCS team. Looks like they're getting. Um, We tend to those down. Solid memes there coming out from the new CS boys. It's good shots. I don't know who the hell young Spooky is. Uh, maybe that's is that our B team. I don't quite know. <coughs> oh no, that looks like it's their team coming together. Um, the De Montfort University team called the DMU Chickens.
So uh, I haven't seen much from this team. I've only watched one game of uh, CS from, well, two two games, but one series uh, from a new CS. Uh, but yeah, we'll be looking to have some good games. And UCS being quite dominant in their scrim yesterday, but that might just be the quality of team they were playing against. Not quite sure. Um, maybe it was just a bit of a mismatch there. So uh, not not getting too cocky about my t uh, about my home team already. Because it happens, you get some games which just go your way, you know? Uh, right. So. So, uh, we've got Zavas, who's the in-game leader. Uh, we've got uh, Anthem, who's the entry fragger and the lurker. Uh, Ten Toads is just one of the riflers. Uh, Swamp is their primary AWPer right now, uh, and Jiggins is taking the role of a secondary AWPer and a uh, rifler. <laughs> but we seem to be uh, having Callum. Now I'm not sure if that is, in fact, uh, Swamp. Uh, so Callum uh, it is actually a uh, swamp, but uh, I can't remember what the exploitative he used was, but it was a certain exploitative. Uh, so yeah, this looks like we're just going through some uh, warm-up rounds. This is the actual game, which would be rather confusing because it wasn't a proper match. Just some warm-up. Yeah, DeMontfort University. These guys are called the DMU Chickens. Sorry, I haven't had chat open. I've been looking on my phone for some information. So it looks like Young Spooky, maybe he's messing around, but he might also be there. Uh, up there. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, that's very fast. See, that's much nicer than the Overwatch one. Like, it's impressive how much better this is than the Overwatch uh, Spectator. It's the Overwatch Spectator is actually terrible. Like, I don't comprehend how you can make it so bad. It's so clunky and awkward to use. I like that you can move up with uh, E and Q in that one, whereas with this one you can't. Of a E and uh, C control. Uh, let me just check the bit right then. Uh, bitrate seems to be good. That's completely fine, to be honest with you. Um, I've got a couple of pings, actually. Let me check that out, because I know they're doing um, some... It's the first game, spam on promos. Oh, I've been up prepped again. That's nice. It's very cute. That's, that bit rate's fine, right? That's what I've been using most of the time. It doesn't seem to be uh, lagging on my um, phone, because I always have it running on my phone just in case. Okay, I'm uh, still trying to press the buttons to go up and down like I am in Overwatch. Yeah, this is kind of simple and nice. Questionable shots there from uh, Zarvas. Oh, it wasn't Zarvas, it was a. Uh, it might have been Zarvas, I don't know. Uh, anyway, ripping countryside, Angel. So, yeah, we just got the warm up going on, and uh, it looks like uh, NUCS are dominating in the warm up. Uh, no, they're actually going pretty even. Uh, a couple more kills, not too many. Not that the warm up actually means anything. Sandbagging the warm-up floor. Brilliant. So we'll soon have all their players, and we'll be able to go. Which will be brilliant. So I don't know quite how they decided on the map pool, but uh, we're going for Dust for the first map, which is... As far as, as, far as I know. Um, is this the new Dust, actually? Let me check. This might not be new. This is not new Dust, right? No, it's not new Dust. 
New dust looks way nicer. This looks really crap. Um, oh, God. Industrial years look really interesting. I'm probably going to try and do one. Try and keep up with my straight with my uh, casting while that's happening. Though I very much like to keep that up. It's something I really enjoy. Uh, is that good? Oh no, we're moving to Mirage. Oh sweet. Yeah, no, I have that same problem, so uh, so I can't um. I can't play uh, River Six Siege with any of my friends uh, because you need a certain nat you need above strict nat type in order to do that, and I literally am just unable to join them in a in a friend's queue because I've got strict nat type here. Even though I've got brilliant internet, blistering blisteringly fast, uh, just can't quite connect to anything, which is kind of bad. But I'll oh, get over it. So uh, first map here on Mirage, uh, which is actually where uh, I think. No, that was the second game they played Mirage. Second game where they went 16 to 4, I think, uh, on behalf of NUCS versus Norwich yesterday. Was it not? Yes, it was Norwich. Yeah, but it's just a pain, isn't it? Getting using a VPN network for something like that. It's kind of silly. I mean, it's not silly, but it's just more often than it's worth. Like, I don't play uh, Rainbow Six that often. Maybe I could use something like Tunnelbound, which isn't very expensive. I, I like how on this map we seem to just be getting pictures that are slightly zoomed in of heaven area. I mean, it's a nice area. Like, it's actually probably the prettiest area of the bunch. I mean, the lighting's really nice. If you have a look. Uh, we might be about, so they might have already started or something like that, but we'll be two minutes behind. Because uh, GoTB is that long. How to get an internet girlfriend. Beautiful. Byron with a high quality uh, choice sister. Ah, there we go. Ah, we're just going to one. Uh, I need to sort out. Ah, settings. Uh, what is it going to game? Uh, so I don't get any messages. Just making sure that people don't try and uh, send me messages mid-game, because that'd be really annoying. Because it wouldn't surprise me if it happened. Uh, I believe I am. Yep, I am. Don't worry about it. I got it this time. PIA. Oh yeah, what's PIA? Is that Pianala, mother of Chandranala? Solid magic gathering memes going on here. Uh, some good uh, decal play, possibly uh, channeling. I think it was Scrappy yesterday. That uh, was some decent decal play. Uh, even though the team uh, was pretty weak, they had some decent decal play coming out in those pistol rounds. Some nice uh, knives coming out here. Look through knives. Oh, Zarvis with the Karambit. Fancy. So uh, we're going out for this knife round. It's going to be very important. They seem to be both be going A, which is good. Going for a cheeky knife fight with the lads. And from being very aggressive, just rushing forward. Maybe going to be surrounded and having a fight with. Oh! Getting shut down by Pricey. Pricey looking for another thing. Quite low. Possibly. Oh! It looks like a DMU have really got that knife game down. Oh no! NUCS with their comeback. Managing to get a really nice three stack onto them. Very good and tactical uh, knife play there coming out from uh, uh, NUCS.
Alright, we're live. Uh, so we're into the first round, and it seems like mainly armor bolt, but a couple of grenades coming out from NUCS. Uh, whereas on the other side, it's almost all armor from uh, DMU. No nades. Oh no, yeah, all armor and one decoy. Let's start flash. Sorry, that's a flash, isn't it? Yeah. Sparky running up forward, trying to get some da um, shots down onto uh, Zarvis in the back. Of Callum, uh, Zarvis. Sorry, um, not Zarvis. Swamp uh, in the back line. So I'm picking up two with some really nice uh, pistol play, but uh, Sparky gonna take okay. one down in connector. He's gonna shoot at uh, oh wait, at stairs. Wow, Swamp getting a 3k so far this round. Sparky getting 2k and Zarvas picking up Sparky on that backside. Jiggins looking for something. They're rotating to B uh, with Onyx, who's on number eight. Yeah, is that seven or eight? No, it's seven, seven. Uh, the scrim? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, I think I uploaded it to my channel accidentally. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so a plant coming out from Onyx, which is just what he wants. He wants that money. Nice headshot there from him, picking it up. Almost going down, but just managing to get a couple headshots into Zarvis, which is really quite sad for him. Um, but he's going to try and fight. Uh, it looks like Callum... Oh, wow, picking up that second kill. Could even take the round, but no. Jiggins picking him off, and he's going to defuse. A bit of a sad end for that uh, round for NECS after a, three, a 3k coming out from uh, ca uh, Swamp. So a uh, really great job from him, their primary opera right now. Possibly some swaps coming in through uh, throughout the season uh, because they might be putting back in Gunner who will return to being their main opera. But they said Tentos has been doing really good, who by the way is the fill-in for him. Um, and they might think about, and he's also meshed well with the team, so they might think about keeping him and uh, swapping around. Chicken's keeping an eye on heaven, which is where the bomb is. It depends on whether he has the patience, uh, while the rest of the team moves on to B. And in fact, they know because they can hear those shots coming out. And I think it's a bit of a decoy. In fact, uh, Tentos moves away. Salva's looking for something, but Sam's not going to find any headshots. Oh, in fact, he gets picked out. Anthem looking for something. Can he get it? Yes! Nice there. Alongside Tentos. Oh, it's a beautiful play there from Anthem. Uh, and we have uh, Callum. He's staying at this point with an MP7. Looking for that bomb. He knows it's here. He's seen it. They're starting to collapse on him. Tentos looking for that shot. Anthem moving on out. Trying to surround this bomb carrier. Behind we have Onyx. Looking to come... No, he's going to come through CT. Should probably a good move. Callum not expecting this at all. Probably going to get caught off guard. He has to make the shot count for Onyx. Onyx takes him out. And splits him up. Oh! Caught while he was reloading! Unlucky there. Tento's not finding his mark, even though he's right in front of him. Looking for the person. It's Responsible. Not getting the shots he wants. Wolfie with this Glock, trying to get a kill down, but Tento's taking him down with the pistol. Read a few shots. Uh, you call it an eco, eco round. Uh, an eco round. Sorry about that, I didn't hear what you said. Sorry, read what you said. Uh, so we've got a bit of a buy coming from both sides. Uh, Callum possibly going to get that off? I don't know. Uh, no, also going for a fan mask. Uh, actually, looking like a stronger round in terms of weapons for um, DMU, even though they are... Uh, and they've got way more grenades. This could be a good round for them. They've really got to make it count, though. They've got to get good entries uh, into the site. Got some nades coming out. Jenkins going to try and hit them the nade. Doesn't get any damage. Oh, no, he hits Sparky. For 15 damage, they know they're there. Jenkins trying to get some poke down, but taking some back himself. Sparky on 23. Need coming out, not hitting anyone. Sparky trying to find... Oh, ho, ho, nice pick there onto uh, Swamp. Something. Sparky trying to get this entry in. It's a beautiful gun. Oh, taking a lot of shots again. Jenkins looking for something. Knows they're in heavy. Trying to get that... Oh, ho, ho, getting Sparky with that spray down through the smoke. Tento's looking for a pick. Couldn't quite find anything. 
You have NUCS moving onto the site. They know where the bombers, but they've got to be able to actually get it. Pricey looking to come out and try and stop them. Getting one. Can he get a second? Trying to throw a grenade out. Wow, lovely fight there from DMU. Really great. Means that they can go into the next round with that advantage of the two AKs, and they can be quite far ahead in uh, in economy. The entire team running AKs is because it's so strong. The rifles are just very strong uh, in this game, which is why they're standardly bought. Uh, three deagles coming out and uh, two UMPs trying to hold those close angles. Jiggins looking for something, but Pricey coming out with that uh, opening fight. Sparky looking for that shot onto uh, where Swamp normally hides. Pricey going down! That's, he's going to pick up an AK on Jiggins. Oh, he gets picked off straight away. Highly unfortunate. Sparky looking for someone coming from Connector. Spots him but doesn't quite get the kill. Got Callum looking for something. Tento's coming from Connector. Oh, nice shot there onto you, young Spooky. Kind of looking for something. You got Anthem and uh, Callum just trying to get those shots in there. Zava sneaking around on that one HP, very, very close to dying against these AKs. It's going to get torn apart, as is shown. Not quite planted yet. Don't have the time. So uh, Callum going down, but he's traded for, but. Anthem goes down in the end. Can't beat that weapon advantage. 2-2 two, two in the scores, but definitely D U DMU and uh, with the advantage here. Not running around like headless chickens like their name belies. Really great work. The CZ coming out from Warfix. Doesn't have quite enough to buy. A whole bunch of P250s. Wow, lovely shots there from Callum getting a really good flank. Onto a solo player as well. And Price is going to try and... Uh, he trades back onto him, but takes a decent amount of damage. This is what they're looking for. DMU moving onto A site. No one's there to stop them. It's aggressive push from NUCS. Maybe they're downfall. They're now going to have to retake with pistols. That's not what you want to be doing. They're kind of confused because they expected someone to be here. Because every round they at least have one person on the say side. So uh, NUCS are going to go for a flank by uh, coming through mid and also going through connector from uh, B side. Yeah, so they know it's on A now. Uh, and Wolfie looking for that nice nade. Jenkins doesn't get quite hit by it. Zarvis looking for the drop down. But no one's in connector. Gives them a bit of information they might need. Sparky looking out for that flank, but he's not going to find anything. Got Wolfie sitting behind those crates looking for something with uh, that CZ. And not going to find the uh, bomb. Wow, what a shot! Very lucky there from uh, Wolfie. Who well, I can only assume is called Stefan. Well, if he's going down, losing his uh, armor, it's kind of sad for him. Uh, so that's an orp coming out from Wolfie. That must be why he bought so little last round. And a full, uh, sorry, and a full buy coming out from um, NUCS, trying to hold those sights before DMU get too much of a steamroll and an economy advantage, so that it doesn't even matter if they win a round. Nice Molotov coming out. Wolfie being held back, looking to see if Anthem is going to peek for that information. Tento's looking for something in mid, but no one's even there. Got Jiggins looking for the person in heaven. They don't know there's one. Now they know there's one because of that smoke. Onyx going under. Maybe going to get picked by Tento's. Oh, beautiful there from Tento's. Nice flank. Jiggins looking for that heaven peak. That's spooky. No, heaven peak might go. Oh, in fact, Jiggins going down to Pricey, but Zarvis trading back. But Zarvis going down to Wolfie S yes, from Connector. 
Callum looking for a way to get back into the site. Anthem posing, moving in from connector. Tento just waiting for Tentos to get in. I don't know, there's someone there. Swamp looking for something. Can't seem to see anyone on site. Knows they're waiting, gets that for nice flash going in. Nice spray down there from uh, Swamp. Can they actually win out the fight? No! And terrorists managed to get a nice crossfire going and just take him out. Young Spooky doing real great work here. Really feeling the holiday spirit. So an eco round here from uh, NUCS trying to p see if they can just get some of their economy back. Getting picked out early, unfortunately there. Wow, nice nade there. Really managing to take that back. Picking up a, an a AK for Zava, so probably one to watch. Wow, as I say that, I switch off Anthem and Anthem gets a 2k. Beautiful. Picking up an uh, AK for himself, but unfortunately going down. Zava's seeing if he can get something while his teammates are rushing down. Oh no, it wasn't Anthem going down, sorry, it was one of the others with an AK. Anthem, doing really great work here, getting three kills. Four kills! Not an ace, but almost. Can I put X-Ray on? How the hell do I do that? Oh, I need to take music off as well. Um, audio. How do I turn X-Ray on? Uh, hit X. Okay, sorry about that, I didn't know. I am new to casting CS. Yes. But thank you very much for that. Uh, so now we've got X-Ray on. And you can see what's going on! Uh, you got... Sparky trying to push up, but being held by, back by the Molotov. Looking like the uh, DMU are gonna push uh, a site anyway from Heaven, but with the bomb coming in through main. Sparky looking to create a diversion. Lots of nades still on this terrorist side to try and find their way onto the site. Just what they want. I see. Oh! As I swapped off, swapped off him, Sparky goes down to Anthem. Anthem's really strong in holding this B site. Pricey looking for something. Going to Wolfie. Young Spooky. Trying to get some damage down, but taking more of it himself and going down to Zarvas. Onyx moving out to the site, seeing Jiggins walk by, but almost going down. Swamp looking for something, Jiggins getting another kill. Looking for that heaven peak. Oh, Tentos takes it instead. Just spamming that back there. Yeah. Really nice cleanup from on the site from NUCS. Making the score even. Rush be to activate that throw. I'll crush you like tiny baby man. Yeah. Really good score lines there from uh, Anthem. 11 0 and 4. Impressive. And this time they're actually going for that rush B push. Rushing B every time. Anthem with a nice spray down, but going down in the end. Chunking quite a lot of their team members. They're going to plant the bomb though. Wolfie looking for something, but just getting taken down by Tentos. Really nice cleanup there from him. Onyx, very far away. Most likely going to see if he can pick up an exit frag or something. But, no. He's stuck with only a deagle, not even any of those weapons which have been dropped from Anthem. Very unlucky. Very clean fight there from NUCS due to the lot of damage coming out from Anthem. Really solid B-site holds from him. So uh, it's going to be full buy from both teams. Uh, we're going for one op versus uh, one op. So uh, nothing super special. Pretty uh, classic. Chicken's going for some damage, but can't really find anything. Looks like it's going to be a side hold. But again, you've got Onyx going on his own to try and make it look like it's not. 
trying to prompt an early rotation. Sparky making his way out of sight. In fact, managing to take out Swamp, but taking a lot of damage for it. Wolf ES looking for some sort of pick. Spooky and uh, Sparky moving onto the site. Looking for a plant. Have Jiggins watching out for them. <coughs> Not gonna see. Pricey comes around. But young Spooky's the one who gets it. Just before he has to. Sparky going down to a nice nade. Ah, oh, Tento's going down in that fight. So obviously for that pick off. Anthem looking for something. In fact, ignoring Pricey and going down to him and biting the bullet for that. Very unlucky there from Angela. Feels bad, man. So, uh, another full buy because uh, they have enough money to do so. Because they won a couple of rounds in a row. A lot of money on Tentos here. Impressive. But obviously been stockpiling. Actually getting a lot of kills his own, on his own. Catching up on Anthem. Possibly going to be an AWP battle mid. But he's getting flashed out. Oh no, wait, it was an AK mid. Sorry, I thought it would be AWP. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Chicken's doing a lot of work alongside Swamp. But Onyx moves forward, picks up that um, that bomb. and They're going to rotate over to B, most likely. Or move over to Heaven. Depends. Morphe looking for that argue, um, aggressive push. Pricey looking for a way to get into the site. Jagan's not pushing too far forward. In fact, running forward just as he needed to. Really nice there from him. Uh, unfortunately, Jagan's going down to that orb in heaven. Callum waiting for this push via A. You got Onyx calming round. Will he be caught off by him, caught off guard? Zava's covering that heaven in case that orper tries to push out. Maybe it's going to happen. It could all be happening here. Onyx comes out and dies for it. Wolfie's still looking for that pick. And they know he's in heaven with an AWP. Might just get him. Looking for a warbang. Just getting sprayed at. Not really hitting anything. Looking for something, anything to make their economic position better by taking something away from NUCS. And you see us not being too... Oh, and he goes down to Zarvis by just running out. Very unlucky from Angelo because she has uh, bad buffering issues. So it's uh, really good for NUCS because they managed to maintain their economy. Not taking too many hits because of such clean play on finishing off that last AWP not losing anyone, which is really nice. I know it's sometimes underrated, but just managing to not lose anyone in those situations is very important. Jiggins playing really aggressive by just sweeping out onto that site. Gonna see Zarvas peaking mid again, and he's already on 5 HP. I don't know what that was due to. Might be that Deagle. Sparky. Wolfie going down. Sparky looking for something onto Zarvas. Ten toes. Oh, he's hit for 39. Onyx takes him down. Nice peek out there from him. Not going to be chased. Anthem holding this B-site on his own. They know he knows they're coming, but will they see him? No, they will not. But unfortunately, it takes him a couple more shots than he probably would have liked. And as a result, only trades one for one. Zarvis getting the drop on Pricey. Really nice there. Tentos. Oh, wow, Zarvis picking up another kill. Sparky looking for something. On 7 HP now. No armor. Not looking great for them. <laughs> Miss City. This is not going well. Quite embarrassing. 2 HP! Gonna die to the nade. <laughs> really nice there. And we're bringing the uh, fight of the first half to, a, to an end here. With two more rounds to go. Including this one. Even though it's close from the intermittent non-buffering I'm going. 
Yeah, no, and UCS, I'm not quite sure which side of this map is. Uh, what I remember from a long time ago is that it was T-side, but think of the Metamite chair. Wow, really nice there from Jiggins. He ran across, double headshot me. Jiggins, really great holds on this A-site. Obviously a lot of practice going in here. Oh, Onyx with a really nice pick. Callum trading back. Nothing spookier than a swamp thing. He's going to prove that today. So Callum looking for something, but he just can't find it. Onyx going down to Anthem. Alongside Sparky. Really nice shots there. Why can I hear them v saying? That's kind of weird. Didn't know yeah. that happened. Oh, they can't read my messages anyway. So it looks like a, a B push. Are they rushing this? Because Anthem's going to smoke them out. Ah, oh, no, they're going from B to mid. Zarvis not getting what he needs. He's going to get shot in the head by this uh, jump up. Oh, he sees it coming. A lovely Molotov from Zarvis forcing him out into Tentos' waiting arms. Having to fall back takes a lot of damage there from that P90. Sorry, P250. Orphy. Rotating back to mid, CT spawn. Unfortunately, pricing. <laughs> I am not good at this uh, spectating thing. I switch off people just as they die all the time. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, but it looks like almost a full buy. Sorry, it looks like a full buy. Yeah, coming out from um, both sides. In fact, Sparky deciding on what to buy. Grabs what he wants. Seems to be going well. Could be a last competitive round of this. And it's end on a high note. See some good frags. Onyx with a really nice pick, trying to find where he is. Pricey going down though. These orpers from both teams finding really, really good picks into the enemy. Sparky. Alongside Young Spook. Moving on to the site slowly. They'll be able to find what they need. Got Tentos coming out from Connector. He's waiting for them to move forward. Gets it. Oh, almost. Not even paying attention properly. Sparky getting a double kill there. Really nice. And it's a two on two now. Going down to a lovely shot there from Swamp. Onyx being held in this uh, heaven. Tries to flash it, but just not in time. Was that even a flash? What was it? Didn't look like it was. Auto director. No, I, w I need to learn how to do it. So I only get better by doing. You know? What annoys me is that I can't move around using my numpad. So, uh, pistol run coming out. Mostly armor. Couple of nades coming out from Zarvis. He's gonna throw them as they move onto the A site. Onyx is falling back. Moving towards Connector, leaving Pricey on his own on this push. Starting to move back in just in time for this push from uh, NUCS. Zarvis looking for some sort of flank. Jiggins picking up the first kill. Anthem probably gonna die here, not going too well for him. Not so great with the pistols as he is with the rifles. In fact, it looks like. And UCS are actually gonna lose this round, even with that early point and nice rush onto the point. Yep, that's game. Well, sorry, that's not game. That's round to uh, DMU. Really nice pistol round coming out from them there. Right, so uh, it's going to be a uh, sort of uh, four spy-ish with a couple of uh, SMGs in order to build up an early lead in terms of economy against the pistol round of uh, NUCS.
moving slowly so as to not be heard. Sparky being rather aggressive but jumping right back down. Oh no, he's just looking for information. Can't see anything yet. No, I think he caught something there. They know they're going for B site. They look like they're having a little bit of a group talk. It's to rush onto site. Oh wow. One for one onto that site. This close range fight is what they want to do. Wow, Zarvis not being caught while planting. Treading down. So it's three versus two on this uh, B site for the terrorists. With this massive weapon disadvantage. In fact, Wolfie Ass and Pricey cleaning out the rest of the fight. Onyx going to defuse. Getting himself a nice sum of money. Being the only one in the team that is still alive without kills. I've not seen that skin that before, that's pretty cool. I wish he would expect me to look at it so I can see it. Uh, right, so another a, a, another B push uh, with Anthem making it look like it's a C push. Oh wow, they're pushing onto mid and just dying to Wolfies. Lovely M4 play. Trying to rush forward, getting a little bit tagged but not really getting anything. Sparky. Nice kill there from him, but he goes down to Anthem. Anthem opening up the site. And unfortunately there's nowhere really no one really to capitalize on it with him. As the rest of his team moves up. The rest of the team is moving over. It's gonna be three v two. Oh they're moving towards mid. It's an interesting choice. They'll have to run into uh, Onyx who's keeping an eye on that um, mid spot. In fact, smoking it out. Not that they know anything about that. They can hear the smokes, but don't quite know what's going on. Taking this slowly, they've got a lot of time. Trying to get some spray down and see what they can get. Maybe worrying a bit too much about it being A. Actually, they're being completely baited. Wolfie, however, moving back towards B, probably just in time. In fact, he sees the nade go out, and they run on, and he gets taken out by the, uh, by Swamp. They don't see Spooky on the right. Now they do, but not after Spooky takes out one of their own. Some pricey looking to retake the site. They've got the health advantage, and now they're even in weapons. Lovely nade coming in. Almost killing Dentos. Really unfortunate. In fact, it looks like they can clean this out. Onyx taking down the final member and pushing a point and defusing. I think I'll try also direct for a round actually. Then I'll go back. See how it does actually. A veritable treasure trove of P250s coming out there from this from the T side. Looks again like another B push. Sparky knows it's coming. Can he get the shot? He can indeed. Lovely scout action there. In fact, tagging Callum as well. Really nice. Good nade coming out. Wolfie getting the first pick. Anthem going down again to Wolfie. Some great AWP play here from Wolfie. Sparky with a nice flank. Taking out Tentos. Can he get Callum? He knows he's there. But Callum just goes down. His pistols being a very strong choice in close quarters like the 5-7. Wow, that looked really smooth. I might actually just keep this on. It's really easy. Oh, some crazy stats that are coming out from Anthem. But Sparky in his own right showing off in this first round, um, sorry, in the second half on the CT side. A 
at UCS have got to find these rounds where they can. Onyx is spamming some shots through, not hitting anyone. That going down to Jiggins, really nice entry frag them from him. Pricey moving in, getting some spray downs, but dying to fire. So Alvis going for this plant, taking damage from that. Still going to get it through. Spooky being chunked by that nade. Some really great nades coming out from these teams. Ah, oh, lovely kill there from Spooky. Getting a double kill, but getting taken out by the rifle of Anthem. Anthem picking up two kills. But going down to Wolfie in the end with that CZ. Tying it up at 10-10. This is not looking good for NUCS. While having a solid CT round, the T rounds have just been short of something. Being able to get onto the site, but not winning those final fights. Often losing 3v2, sorry, often losing 2v3, which is not getting enough picks when they get on, or getting picked as they run on. It's a real issue. So we've got Sparky lurking for this push from Callum. We've seen it before. Some new nades coming out, I believe. Interesting new strat. Oh, wow, Zarvis with a really nice spray down, with a good flank. Gonna move onto the site. Sparky doesn't know it's coming. In fact, going down to Jiggins. Pricey and Wolfie getting some really nice picks. Onyx looking for something too, throwing some nades. Callum getting flash but looking for something. Zarvis looking for them to push out. Being baited out. Zarvis, in fact, applying a lot of pressure with his rifle. Anthem knows it's coming, but is he going to die? They're coming over from apartments with this flank. Zarvis with a nice pick. He's going aggressive. Dealing a lot of damage to Pricey, but can Callum seal it out? Nice one there from Anthem. Anthem throwing that Molotov. Zoning away from the bomb. Looks like it's going to be there around, but looks like Callum's dead no matter what. This bomb's going off, but Callum going down with it. Pricey dying right before. Some great work from Anthem there. A lot of kills coming from this man. Often solo on that B site and the CT side. Some really great work. Full buy coming out from the T side, but not the say the same can't be said on the uh, and you sorry on DMU's side. Getting couple of deagles, but only one rifle from Pricey. Really sad. And they're getting a great pick, which will lead them to get onto the both field. But Pricey covering that position, and he's going to take out Anthem. Pricey getting what he needs. In fact, getting a double kill, being the only rifle holder for this team. This is important that they get a lot of use out of it. Wolfie waiting for that, jumping out, looking for something, couldn't see him. I was getting that, but getting that plant. Spooky looking for something. Wolfie S. Yes. And Pricey. It's 3v3, but severe weapons disadvantage. Back at me. Are they going to close it out? No, the AK spray down is going to stop them. Oh, beautiful coming out from Zarvis with a nice clutch 3k. Great clutch care coming out from Zarvis, managing to defend that bomb, though it looked like it was going off anyway. Managing to save his own life, most likely, more than anything. But it looks there's going to be some kind of force coming out from uh, DMU, or maybe that's just how CS goes right now. I've not really seen a mixed buy using a UMP. Occasionally you see the Seattle come out instead of the AWP from what I know. When you need the money, you don't have enough.
So I'm looking for these early picks. Fact. Wait, who's going? Who's attack? Who's going aggressive? I can't see them. Oh, it's Jiggins. Wow. Jiggins, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> Jiggins, you madman! Jiggins! Jesus Christ! Popping off as well. What is he doing? Onyx making push him to the side, flashing but to no avail. Shooting shots but going down to Callum in the end. Warfley looking for some sort of pick to get on the side. Nah, he's just gonna run away. He doesn't have the time, doesn't have the weapons, doesn't have the resources. Looking for an exit frag, but they're all going the other way because they know he's there and it's, there's no point in risking it to be honest with you. Jiggins being an absolute madman. So, some sort of force again coming out here, with an AK and four, sorry, three SMGs and one pistol. Wolfie going for this early pick. Taking a little bit of uh, armor damage, but not much. Can't seem to find anything. Gang chickens! Chickens being a little bit overzealous this time, and getting punished for it. Sparky D stuck in connector. Trading that. Really nice! A little bit dumb there coming from Sparky B. Sorry, we're young spooky, but Wolfie cleaning up his uh, teammates' mistakes. Wolfie's looking right at him. Can he escape from the jaws of the wolf? It's a two on two. Anthem doesn't see it. Oh no! Unlucky timing. Anthem looking to make sure that Onyx isn't trying to make that rare flank. In fact, Starting to head back, seeing if we can catch him. They've got 45 seconds, which is a lot. Of In fact, catching him! Beautiful play there. Brilliant play from Swamp. Using the fact that his teammate was coming up to the point in order to bait out Wolfie. And punching the wolf right on the nose to escape from its jaws. Don't ever do that, that's a bad idea. Just don't get in a fight with wolves. And looking like NUCS with this advantage. Another AWP by coming out for Wolfie. Not necessarily encourage uh, a good idea. Callum being very aggressive. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that too. Pricey being even more so. But they're probably not expecting it. Jiggins looking down. Oh, nice pick. Almost getting a 2k. Callum completely chunked. Can't really go out. It's very lit. Sparky going down. Tentos. A lot of low healths. This could be a clutch from this uh Montfort De Montfort team. Setting up for it. But Anthem, the man with the plan. Callum going down. Same man with the plan, Zarvis is actually the in-game leader, I'm just referring to the man with the plan, because he's pulled out some very nice fights here. But Wolfie just going, nah, I, I don't, I, I'm not feeling it. And saving this up for the last round, arguably, possibly the last round. And seeing if we find a pick on some overzealous members such as Anthem, who's on 100 HP, but not that that'll matter against an AWP. But no, they won't make it in time. We'll be panicking slightly at that rolling carton. Fall by coming out as much as they can, at least, from both teams, because it is oh, possibly the last. A Negev coming out! Is that a Negev or is it the other one? Let me just check. I can't check. Okay, he's switching to it. Not that weapon. Looks like a B push, but with uh, some fights going down mid. Ten toes. We can hear something, but there's a lot of smoke going down. No one can really see anything. Bombi. Wolfie getting a Bombi, Bombi. Is that a double kill? No, only a single kill, unfortunately for him. 
Just 2v4. Let's find him out. Jiggins, the man with balls of steel. And he gets that bomb plot. What a madman. Tento is having to clutch it out against foot three. He's in the situation to do so. Oh, that could still be it. Could this be it? No, he dies to 1x. And that's going to be a fuse from DMU. It's Gambit with that AWP. Working quite well. Pricey picking up again for Wolfie. You've been a good dog. You can have your AWP again. So, uh, a bike coming out from both teams, uh, Sparky being a little bit down on his luck. Probably because he helped uh, helped purchase that. Oh no, he gets dropped a weapon. Which is great. Some real team spirit coming out here from DMU. Pitching in together to buy that orb. Pricey taking a very aggressive position yet again. Will it pay off or are they looking out for it this time? Chicken's going for this nade. Will Pricey get the right timing? Chicken's looking out for Pricey in his cheeky cheeky ways. Yet again. Gonna get caught. Doesn't go down, but eventually goes down. Pricey. Pricey, what is this? Having to reload and dying in the end. Oh, wow. Disgusting 4K from Pricey. Will he be able to make it the ace? No! Unlucky 32 health between him and an ace. This looks like it's gonna be a wipe from Anthem. Anthem. Brilliant round here from uh, Pricey. Setting up his team for a win. They don't capitalize on this. I, I would, I would, if I were Pricey, I would just quit the team. I just, it, it's, it's just going to get worse from there. But, not that I expect them to. It's very hard to lose this situation. Sparky keeping an eye on this heaven. Keep an eye on the bomb, which they know where it is. In fact, you have young Spooky looking to see if he goes out the back, but Wolfie picking him off the front. Great orc play here. This could be a close game with this uh, economy coming out. I'm going to save most likely for the next uh, round and it will be another fight. Next fight after that will probably be at 15-15 and it will be going into overtime at that point. Wolfie well, looking for an early mid pick but it looks like they're all going B and he just didn't see it coming. Sparky again with that spam down B, uh, B uh, apartments. Sorry about this, I forget some of the names sometimes. I haven't played CS in a while. And I'm looking to make sure no one pushes up because DMU have had a lot of uh, success when they've been aggressive, as shown by Pricey's 4K on the last round. Slowing them down with that. Oh, shots coming out. Flashing and just going in. Oh! <laughs> Bit of a team kill there, but we'll let it slide. It was meant well. Nice play here from Anthem. Oh my god, beautiful there from Anthem. Two kills so far. He picks up an AK with full health. Tentos also have an a has an AK. It's pretty even considering Onyx is so chunked. Can they get a part? No, though. No, they left the bomb in apartments. Oh, what a mistake. Anthem getting another pick. Beautiful there from him. Tentos looking to get that. Sees that Onyx is there. And they're just holding this corner. Doesn't want to go too far forward. Terrorists win. And terrorists win the round with a lovely nade from Anthem. So that's 1-0 to NUCS. Really great game actually. Very close despite the fact that it was four rounds apart. And OK, OK, OK Orange. Um, I'd like to say no, I can't be your girlfriend. I'm lacking certain facilities to do so. Uh, so now we're probably moving to the next map. Uh, is that the lost game? I have not been informed. I would assume it's a best of three. Right? Right? 
Chat, do you have any information? <laughs> Volcanus, you'll get a lot with that uh, that pickup line. Uh, looks like there's no more matches. Um, we should go join the call and ask. Yo, are there any more games, or is that it? Yeah, there's a one. Yeah. Well, okay, just the server ended and I was confused. Yeah, it doesn't start till 8.45. Oh wait, so you got game 2 at 8.45? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you're against the same team, right? Uh, no, a different team. Oh, okay. Oh, so you just play best of one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so we'll be back at 8, uh, 8.45, guys. See you guys. Um, and so, get yourself some dinner and get yourself a drink. Wait, what did I say? Did I say Vol Volcanus or Volcanus? I can't remember now. Next match is in 30 minutes. There we go. Uh, so I will see you in a bit. I'm going to move you over to. Oh no, wait. Uh, I don't actually have a CS one. Let's let's get a CS picture and I'll put it on that. Uh, while we wait, I'll leave the chat up. Rhymes with Venus, Volcanus. Okay, right. Haha. -ha. I don't know. Right. All right, save image. And you see me doing some live OBS stuff. Um, how you plus uh, image? Create new image. Just go find it. Pictures. I remember all. Oh no, wait. Where would it be? It would be some videos, wasn't it? Watch. And yeah, is that what's now streaming? Yep, there we go, the Newell. Ha ha! And I'm gonna put on some music. I don't know how loud it's gonna be. Um, so yeah. Wait, how do I put it on? Can you hear that? Let's check. Yep. All sorted. Uh, so I'm going to leave you guys here a little bit.
Ladies and gentlemen. 